What's up, Trendsetter Gang? Hey, Trendsetter Gang. Um, I'm so happy to be talking to y'all and back with y'all. I felt kind of disconnected for the last couple days that I haven't been doing videos, so I was feeling kind of I was feeling kind of sad. Um, I want to talk about. Um, I told you we would talk about motivation and inspiration and empowerment and you know all these different things as well on my channel because that's what I'm about as well. Um. We're going to talk about how to not be emotionally drained by narcissists. First, I want to start off by defining what a narcissist is. So that when I talk about the narcissist, you begin to understand what I'm talking about. Um, and before I tell you what the narcissist is, let me say this really fast. Um... The first time I started my YouTube channel um, that I didn't finish, I shut it down. Um, I, I shut it down for a whole lot of reasons, but um, first I, you know, I wasn't, you know, I, it was so much going on. It was, I couldn't, you know, do it and I was doing different stuff and I was working and doing a couple of jobs, so it was kind of hard to maintain it, um, but, um, this topic, narcissism, is something I feel like I've been dealing with for a lot of my life, um, and I'm studying a lot, and I'm learning a lot more about it, I know some things about it, but there are some things that I'm still learning, let me just say more like, um, understanding, and moving past it, um, some things I am discovering, um, but I'm rediscovering some things about myself and the people around me and the people that I no longer have around me. Um, so let me tell you, so this is what I'm studying, um, and you let me know if this is helping you or whatever. Um, let me just say, um, so I got notes and everything, so, Narciss a narcissist is a person that has an excessive interest or admiration of themselves, okay, a narcissist is a person that has an excessive interest or admiration of themselves, um, Narcissism is a narc um what do they they call it? It's a personality. It's, they people say NPD is a narcissistic personality disorder. Now let me just say personally what I think, and I, if I have to come back and re and, and correct this, I will. I feel like you can be a narcissist. Um. I think there are narcissists, but they're not to the unhealthy point. And then you got the NPDs, which is the narcissistic personality disorder. I think there's a different a difference. Um, I feel like we're in the time of narcissists, especially with social media. Everybody wants to be in their phones taking selfies. This is a very narcissistic, you know, generation. Um. So when I say narcissistic, you know, it's like they always want to be taking pictures and looking at themselves. And I get it. it you know, everybody wants to be a, a star or a celebrity. I get it. I'm not mad about that. But to me, that's like good narcissism. But you got to have balance. And when you start doing too much, then I think that's when it starts to become like a disorder. Anything I feel you need to do in balance and then we can go from there on before you get to uh too much because then it's you know we like having disorders and stuff um a narcissist is a person um you know that is all about self um that's that's all you know everything is about self and what's in it for me um 
you know, this involves their relationships with their children, um, their siblings, romantic relationships, work relationships, or wherever you, wherever they are. Their rela when you're in a relationship with a narcissist, it's, it's not a relationship. It's a pseudo relationship. It's not even real. Um, you're not in a relationship with a narcissist. You're in a transaction. Because they only want to be a part of your life because of what you can do for them or what they think you can do for them. It's a pseudo relationship. It's not real. Okay. Um, it's all about what's in it for them and what they can get out of it. They're not going to say it. But if you around this person, you're going to immediately know that. And when, once you know that and find that out, run for your life. You know, go no contact. Fade the black. I say fade the black. Fade the black means I don't tell you I'm leaving. I'm just gone. I'm gone in my brain and I'm physically gone. And I'm gone from any type of communication with you. Like I'm done over finito it is finished okay it's no more us no nothing you can fade the black on people you know everybody um you don't have to always you know go and tell them or whatever um a narcissist is a self a self secret it's self-seeking um a narcissist is always seeking um attention for himself or for herself um, um, a narcissist, when I said that you were in, you're in a pseudo relationship, it's not real. And when I say you're not in a relationship, you're in a transaction because it's all about what you can do for them. Um, narcissists seek to get personal needs met at the expense of others. Narcissists seek to get their needs met, needs met by the expense of others. Um, so that's by any means necessary. Like, they don't care nothing about you. I mean, they can tell you all day I love you and I this and I that, but they never show it. They, they have no concept of love, of, you know, of any feeling for any, anyone, um, Unless it's somebody that's doing something for them. Now, if you're doing something for them, they're your best friend to the end, honey. You probably can't get rid of them. Um, so, narcissists will use you for their own personal needs and their own personal desires, okay? You like a, um, you know, in, 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 in layman's terms, in today's slang, you like their, you like they do girl, you they do girl, um, you know what I'm saying, whatever they say, you hop to it, you jump to it, they do girl, or you can say they made, okay, you know what I'm saying, lap dog, all of that, it's the same, you know, all of that, um, well, I'll take that back. Let's not say lap dog, because I don't think that, nah, not for what I want to say it means. Nah, nah, nah. Um, the, the narcissist is a worshiper of self. Um, narcissist comes from the Greek word, um, the Greek um, mythology, narcissus, N-A-R-C-I-S-S-E. Um, a narcissist is a man that fell in love with his own image in the waters. So he would look at himself, his reflection in the waters, and he fell in love with his own image. He, you know, thought he looked like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all do with these phones today. Like, hey, I know I look good. Check me out. Look, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, I think that I think I covered all of that. Okay. So you you are ve you you are well versed on what you know what a narcissist is. So let me um so let me go ahead and talk about um how to not be emotionally drained by a narcissist or I can say my title is the power of indifference with a narcissist. Um with a narcissist 
Um, they have no capacity to consider anyone else's feelings um, and, and lives, you know, but their own. Um, they are selfish and they have selfish agendas. Um, indifference means lack of concern. They don't. They are not concerned with anything you have to do. They're not. They're always concerned about what can you do for them. Um, they they have a nonchalant attitude about um. Uh, okay, they, they have a lack of, uh, I'm sorry, a lack of concern and a nonchalant attitude. Um, uh, I don't know. I, let me, my notes, my, uh, Lord have mercy, hold on. They have a nonchalant attitude and I think um, if they don't, if you don't do what they want you to do, they have a way of disregarding you. Like you don't matter. You're not important. And they might not even talk to you because you didn't do something they wanted you to do when they wanted you to do it. Um, you have to come to tell this person, um, you're not my mom. And they go, I'm not trying to be your mom. I'm just saying it don't make no sense. You should be doing this and that, but that's not for you to say, sweetie. If I said no, it's no. It's not even about what you think. Nobody cares. You know what I mean? Like, um, they'll try to talk you into doing something like that. Don't make sense. You could just do this right here for me. Like, why wouldn't you do that? I mean, you know, they'll try to, you know, go into that whole thing. Um, when you're indifferent, you are so emotionally removed that this person no longer possesses access to push your buttons okay so that means when they start you know trying to pull you in and get you all hyped up you know what i'm saying saying and wound up they say things they will say little digs little subtle digs some of them are not subtle some of them are in your face and it'll tick you off and the first thing you want to do is go off but you you need to just chill just be calm they want an argument so they can get your energy flip and twist everything on you and then by the time everything is over when they supposed to be giving you an apology for the stuff that they doing wrong you end up giving them an apology they make you feel like you're the one that's done them wrong when it was really them doing you wrong you know they don't have no accountability but that's another video they are not accountable they never say that they're sorry because that's admitting that they're wrong and they will never i said never oops my phone sorry they will never never admit that they're wrong it just ain't gonna happen if you waiting for it don't hold your breath because it's just not gonna happen um yeah um so that's so when you're in a relationship with them, you may be the one that's in the relationship and you know that you're giving it your all, but you're really, you're really participating in a relationship, but they're not. You'll start to see that where you're giving, giving, giving of yourself and they're taking, taking, taking. And they may promise you, oh, I'm going to give you something next time, girl, you know, I love you. And it never happens. Um, <sighs> you know, I, you know, for me personally, I felt like I was spinning my wheels. I wasn't getting anywhere. And you have to come to a place in your life where you're not spinning your wheels with people when they can't see you for who you are. Um, and this is, I speak for family on this one because family are the closest and they're probably the hardest people to walk away from. But if they're toxic, you got to do it. Okay. And I'm not going to tell you it's going to be easy and I'm not going to tell you that it's not going to hurt. But it's something that you have to do. 
in order to um, save yourself and to move on and do some bigger and better things. Because I don't know about you, but my energy is for much more than arguing with somebody about nonsense. I'm not with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just... I used to be into that whole thing and I thought if I held my ground and stood up and argued with people that that would get me somewhere or people would see my point. But with the narcissist, they will never see it. It's like a web, honey. And you'll be doing this till the cows come home. And you'll be the one that's drained and broken hearted. And they'll be sitting there looking at you because they, they have indifference. They don't feel... They don't have a concept of, of feelings. So they just, you can be crying or, or screaming and going off and they sitting up there looking at you like, you crazy. But that's the purpose. They know that they've gotten you intertwined. Because most of the time when you're, women are especially emotional. When you're emotional, that's when they can pull you in. Guys do it all the time. They know that once you get emotional, They got you. And what's the saying? Once we give up our parts, we give up our heart. Or once we give up our heart, we give up our parts. However you want to say it. Women are emotional. Once you, that's why they say slow your roll on, you know, when you're dating, not to be having sex because, you know, things change when that happens. And when a man gets you that way. He can pretty much do anything and you'll let a lot of things pass because y'all did have sex. A lot of things go unnoticed um, because of that. Red flags. Or you pretend that they're not there. You may notice them, but you might just pretend like, oh, you know, he good in bed. You know, he the bomb dot com. I'm just, maybe he won't do it again and you'll just keep letting it go on till you get tired. And by that time, you in, you in too deep over your head um with this you know with this relationship that you know that's how soul, soul ties are formed okay um so yes um so when you're in a relationship with a narcissist you are participating in the in the relationship but they are not they are simply taking it's a transaction for them you're an opportunity or an option okay and that's what it is you're an opportunity or an option. And that's how they treat you. And you have to see it. It's hard to see it with family because you don't want to believe that it's true. But you got to see it. Seeing it is believing. And when you see it, your life going to be all the better. I'm not telling you it's easy. I'm not saying it's going to hurt. But you'll be good and you'll be fine. You still going to breathe if you don't, if you go no contact. You still gonna breathe. Um, and there are ways to, I'll do it in another video. I heard that there are ways where if you, you know, you in a situation where you have to deal with a narcissist. Me, I don't have to. So I'm not. That's just a, a decision I've made, but everybody has to make their own decisions. But it's too damaging. It's it's a very toxic and demonic situation. Like it really is. Um so you have to get to the place where, you know, like I got to the place where I was running in circles, um, going around in circles, wasting my life, spinning my wheels, trying to, you know, see if it was going to work and coming up broken every time it got me nowhere. Um, this is not productive or positive when you going around in circles. This is demonic. It's a it's a disruptive well, and it's, it dismantles your life. It's like when you're dealing with a narcissist, you're totally being manipulated the whole entire time. Like, it's not productive. It's not positive. It is it it is witchcraft in 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 the the highest form. It is witchcraft. It really is. Um, and I'll tell you how, how in a future video, because this gets deep. I'm, I'm going to talk about narcissistic mothers and all that kind of thing. I'm going to break it down. Um, they can be very, very dangerous um, narcissists. 
Um, you know, sometimes narcissists can ruin you financially and socially. Um, and you just have to untie the soul tie. You have to just cut it. Some people say untie it. I'm going to say cut it. Cut it and burn it and throw it away. But you, you, you got to do that for your mental health and your sanity. Um, I don't know about you guys, but my peace of mind is more is more, is worth more than gold. You understand what I'm saying? My happiness, like they say, your wealth is your your health is your wealth. Your mental health, that's a part of your health. That's your wealth. And I just, I can't, I won't. Um. You know, so the narcissist, let me just go on. The narcissist has no limits. They have no boundaries. Okay? They do whatever they want to do. And when you check them about it, they want to be making excuses for it. They don't want to be accountable. But most of the time, it's to be funny and to make a dig at you. They're going to tell you it wasn't, but tr look at me. It is. Okay? They know exactly what they're doing. They may not even know that it's narcissistic, but they know that it's they know when they are being manipulative the whole time. And I'm speaking from I'm learning more about this, and I are, I'm, this is one of the things I already know because I've already been through it. I'm I've already been through it, so I'm I'm telling you what I know. Okay. Um. Um, the next thing, um, that I want to talk about is, so with the psychology of the narcissist, when I was telling y'all narcissists could see his reflection in the waters and he would just, you know, look, fell in love with his complexion. It's demonstrating the psychology of of uh, the narcissist and all they can see themselves in every in any situation. So <clears throat> <clears throat> their whole universe revolves around self focus and self concern and self interest. So when they're doing something, just pay attention. It's always got to do with them. They're not gonna do it if they if it don't if it's not gonna be beneficial to them. These are what I you these are what you you will probably call opportunists. If they are opportunists, uh, opportunists, uh, opportunists, they probably are a narcissist. And if they are a narcissist, they definitely definitely are opportunists. Opportunist. Um, the narcissist um, lifeline is um, people reacting or responding to to his or her promptings. Um, the narcissist is powerless for what he can provide from himself, leeching um, provide for himself or herself. Um, what he is leeching from his from his victims. So his energy is renewed by maintaining an em emotional cord or umbilical cord to his or her victim soul. So they are they are energy drainers. They are emotionally draining. They they emotionally drain you. They want you. They will say something to tick you off, like. To the highest, they'll say something to piss you off to the highest of pissosity. And then you will respond in anger and go off and blow up. And when you do that, they start smirking and smiling because they got you where they want you. And sometimes they won't smirk and smile. They'll just take you through the whole ordeal. By the end of the conversation, you will be the one at fault because they will have tried to make you think that you are. <clears throat> but even when you know you're not at fault and you say that and you never believe them and you argue that, it's an argument that never ends. And I thought I was the queen of arguments. Like, 
it's the argument that never ends. So when you get older and mature, you start to say, you know what, you can have it. And I hope it was worth it worth it for you because now you don't have me in your life i hope that it was worth it to you know to do what you're doing because i don't agree with it therefore i don't have to participate in what i don't agree in or what i don't feel to be true um so the narcissist gets his energy from um the the emotional umbilical cord that it has attached to its victims so to you or whoever um i know in you know and in the bible you know in the bible it talks about men shall be lovers and pleasers of themselves um and this this is describing the narcissist you know what i'm saying it's the um I feel like the time that we're in, like I said, we're in the technological um, day and time. And I feel like everybody's a narcissist to a certain degree, especially when it comes to how they look and with these selfies. But um, we are in the age of the narcissist and the, you know, it's due, it's due to poor parenting. Narcissists are poor parenting, parents. They're, they're poor parents. Um, yeah, they're poor, they're, they're poor parents. Um, a narcissistic mother, I would describe her as mommy dearest. That's another video. Um, some people have had one narcissistic parent, one narcissistic parent. Um, sometimes you can have a mother and father narcissistic parent. Um, you can do that. Um, some of the things that, um, with with you know like i said narcissist parents are bad parents and you know generations have gotten weaker i think because of the parents and i truly believe that um as a parent myself i feel like the generations have the parenting has gotten weaker because the children have gotten out of more out of hand and and um i think that is due to the lack of good parenting it's hard to be a good parent when you are always worried about yourself because even when you do things for your children, you're, you're worried about how it makes you look. Um, or this is the narcissist parent I'm talking about. You're worried about what people think about you. You're worried about um, how people view you as a parent. Um, you know, that kind of thing. Um you know, more and more um, dysfunctional families are playing to the explosion of narcissists. Um, Self-worshipping messages promoted during childhood. Narcissist parents promote um, self-worshipping. Um, I mean, I'm sorry. Self-worshipping messages are promoted during childhood. Um... From the parents that that are overdoting parents, overdoting parents, um, promote um, self worship. You know, from music to culture, they constantly they promote um, self promote self worship. Um, less loving. Narcissistic, narcissistic parents are very not loving. They may say, I love you. I think that's their guilt talking. And so they have to constantly say it. But that's what they do. They talk, but they never do. They just talk. They don't put actions behind their words. Um...
And, you know, like I told y'all, this relationship with a narcissist is not real. It is not real. It's not normal. And it's not with this. This is not a real relationship. It's a transaction, and it's not with a normal person. Um, this is very much a demonic situation. Ship. This is, you know, even with a, a woman and a man. You know, when a woman is dating a narcissistic man, this is not a relationship. This is a situation. Ship. Now, I feel like in times in my life, I'm, I'm about to make a confession. This is the part of me that I feel um, was narcissistic. You know, me being a product of a narcissistic um, upbringing, I feel like I had this... I hate guys phase at one time, you know, because I had been through so many bad relationships and I had guys that would do what I wanted them to do. And that was just, I'm not proud of that. I went back to apologize to all the ones that I could apologize to and anybody looking at this video, you know, if I've ever dated you, um, I'm, I am apologizing because I didn't know any better. Or let me say, I did know better. I just didn't do better. And I'm not at that place anymore. But I, I am so sorry. And I apologize for using you to, to get what I wanted to get done. Because that's not a relationship. That's a situationship a transaction an opportunity but that's in the past i did that in the past i don't do that anymore um so okay so let me get to the point like when so now indifference is what you want to do with a narcissist if you want to know how to combat a narcissist how to not be emotionally drained. The power of dealing with or managing a narcissist is with indifference. When this person says or does something to make you angry, um, do not respond in anger. Do not respond going off and cursing and just, you know, springing off the hip. Just respond in the opposite. Respond calmly. Stuff that you should respond angrily to, be calm. Because they trying to get to you. Anger is an expression of fear. What you mad, What you scared about? Let them say whatever they say because it's just words. And it's only an opinion. That's what you think, okay? I'm sorry you feel that way. <laughs> um, when they can't get the reaction that they want, they're going to stop wanting to be around you. Um, they are narcissists, are emotional vampires, so don't fly off the handle. They feed off of your emotions and your anger. They feed off of your emotions and your anger. Um, as, you know, the Bible says a soft answer turns away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Um, it's always, when you're dealing with a narcissist, it's always a bipolar experience. Bipolar. Um, don't argue with the narcissist. I don't care if you are the top debater and arguer of the world. D dealing with a narcissist, arguing with a nar narcissist, you will never win because they will never see that they are doing wrong. They will never see it. And some of them see it and purposely don't see it. Because they don't want to admit it to you because admitting that they are wrong means that they have to be accountable. And that's something they don't do. They don't have a concept of your feelings. They don't have a concept of other people. All they know is they want something done and you need to do it. They don't care that you don't feel like doing it or you don't want to do it. They're going to make you feel bad. They're going to try to make you feel bad because of it and all of that. 
You just have to learn how to say no and be done with them. I'm not going to argue with you. And they be like, right, well, I just wanted you to do this for five minutes, for ten minutes. I ain't going to say it no more. Now, I don't know what part of no you didn't get, but it's no. And walk away. You don't even need to say that. Just say no and walk off. Um... You never, this is, this is what I was just saying. You never win an argument with a narcissist. Agree with them quickly rather than argue with them. And then let me tell you something. This is a tactic you can use. People say use in different, but another tactic is agree with them quickly. Now, just because you agree with them in a conversation don't mean you're going to actually do it. Just be like, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just to get them out, you know what I'm saying? And then go on and do something else. You know what I'm saying? Just be like, yeah, okay, okay. I would do that and, and, and you know, people be like, well, dang, you sound like you don't want to do it. Yeah, I don't, and I'm not. I'm just saying, okay. They knew at one point it was just okay because I don't even care. If you're going to keep saying whatever you're saying and you ain't hearing nothing, I'm saying, okay. Okay what? Okay. That's what it means. It don't mean I'm going to do it. It don't mean I'm not going to do it. Well, it do mean I'm not going to do it, but it's okay. It's just what I said. Old oh, doggone K. <laughs> um, every time you agree with a narcissist. Every, no, I'm sorry. Every time you argue with a narcissist, the narcissist wins. When you start to argue and give them your emotion and you're going, ah, you get on my nerves. Ah, every time you do all that, they sitting back like, yeah, I got her. <clears throat> They're not going to say it in your face. And some of them bold enough to do a little smirk. But they win. When they get you all wound up and you losing your mind and you losing your composure and you going all in, they have won. Because we all know you do not go in on stuff you don't care about. Men know that about women. Women are emotional. They know when they can't get a woman to get emotional they don't have her. But when that woman gets emotion, that's why they want to have sex with you right off the bat. Because when they have, when you have sex, you've already tapped into the emotional part of that woman. Once we give up our parts, we give up our hearts. It's it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? Um The argument, the argument is the win for the narcissist. That's what that's what I didn't understand. I kept arguing, not understanding that the more I argue, because you can stand your ground and you're not scared, hey, that's cool. But when you argue, it's fuel for them. They like it, they enjoy it, they win. Um, it is a win for them. It's about the the argument is about keeping you on an emotional puppet string. I'll say it again. The argument is about keeping you on an emotional puppet string. It's not about who's wrong or right. It's about keeping you on an emotional puppet string. And by the time you get through doing all that howling and they sit, you know what I'm saying? By the time you get through doing all that crazy, I, 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 Then you tired. Try it. I already did. You're going to be tired and drained. And let me tell you something. Somebody may say, well, what if they holler at me? What you mean don't holler back at them? If they start hollering at you, if it gets to the point, it's, especially if it's grown folks, if it's anybody, but if it's two grown folks and they hollering at you like you their child, walk. Don't say nothing. Walk. Because you're not hollering at me. I'm not your child. You understand what I'm saying? Nah. If I got to be in a situation like that, walk. If you got a boss like that, walk. Go find you another job. Walk. Because when you start hollering at me, the fact that you even think you, have, you can do that is disrespectful. That's crossing a boundary. That's the boundary that I have. If you don't know how to talk to me, this conversation is over. If we at somebody's house, the gathering is over. I'm done. And I ain't. I, and I'm gonna tell you something, cause I, I'm good at explaining and doing stuff. When it gets to that point and it's heated, don't even start talking and explaining. Just walk out. 
They'll figure it out. They will. And if they don't, whoop de do. What they say, tough titty for the kitty. <laughs> um. Uh, this is what I was telling you guys before. Agree with the angry with angry people quickly, and then check out of the conversation. I'll say it again. Agree with angry people quickly and then check out of the conversation. Don't engage. Agree quickly and check out. And then when you check out, if you can walk out, do that too all at the same time. Um, uh, when you're dealing with a nar narcissist, take a while to respond to questions or accusations. Just look at them and let them fly off the handle. Just look at them. When they start saying, well, I heard you, you did it, and just look at them. Don't even be, you know, the Bible said be slow to, be slow to, uh, you know, anger, be slow to wrath, and be slow to speak. Just, you know, God gave you two ears. I'm learning how to speak less. Speak, uh, listen more and speak less. You got one mouth. If he wanted you to speak a lot, he will give you two. I, you know, just let them, you know, let them, let them get all, let them fly off the handle. Because when you let them fly off the handle, what have you done? You just reversed it back onto them. You reversed the emotional thing on them. They're the ones getting emotional. Because they're probably mad that you're not even talking back to them. Or you're not responding. So then you just reverse the energy. And that's when they're going to they be like, oh, okay, wow. Don't be in such a rush. Me, I was in a rush. I'm quick to, I'm a type of person, I'm a confronter. Um, I'm a type of person that, you know, I'll speak my mind. I'm learning to do it and learn how to take my time before I do it and think about what I'm going to say. Because, uh, you know, some of us, once you strike that nerve, that's it. I'm working on it. I'm working on that. Um... Don't respond to crazy text messages. Don't respond. Um, never let the other person know what or everything that you're thinking or feeling. Once you start to let them in on what you're feeling and what you're thinking, they begin to take the emotional reins and run with them. And then you end up getting upset and then you are drained and you're wondering how they got so deep in just because you let them in. Don't never give them your thoughts and your feelings. Keep that to yourself. That is your goal, mind. Don't give them your thoughts and don't give them your feelings because that keeps them wondering. If they know how you feeling and they know your thoughts, they know where to go to, to pull certain emotions out of you. Don't give them that. Don't give them that. Give it, you can give your thoughts and feelings to safe people. And safe people are people that you can trust with your thoughts and your feelings that will not use your thoughts and your feelings against you. You understand me? Do it with safe people. They got to be people you really trust. People you know that love you good, bad, and indifferent. But do not trust your thoughts and feelings with everyone. Because the narcissist will exploit your thoughts and your feelings. Every time they will do it. Sometimes when you're in a conversation with a narcissist, you have to play crazy. Because what it does, it confuses and frustrates them. Just kind of play dumb and crazy. That's why when they first start talking, let them talk. Let them get it all the way out. By that time, you will have thought of a, of a response. And sometimes you ain't even got to respond. Just sit there and say, so what you got to say about it? I ain't got nothing to say about it. You know, I'm sorry you feel that way. Put it off on them. I'm sorry you feel that way. That's your opinion. Being different. When they start to break down and they want to cry because they're not getting no reaction out of you, just say, okay. I know for a fact when I stop giving a dog on, that's when things got, they were better for me. Um, gaslighting, they create scenarios to make you look like you're out of your mind. Gaslighting. They create scenarios, especially in front of other people or behind your back, 
They create scenarios to make you look like you're out of your mind. I have I have been called crazy all my life by my family and, and by um, a sibling um, has always smeared my name um, all the time behind my back and I know it's true because people have come back and told me I'm not gonna get into all that because it don't matter but you know you you know hate is very educational because when you know what people hate about you you know your why in life you know who you are you know what it is that gets up under their skin and that's the person of you they might be jealous of you because they don't know who they are they might be jealous of you because they know that you're on a higher vibration. Narcissists know that you're on a higher vibration because you don't act like them. They know that. But they try to make you feel bad for not being like them. When you should, um, when you should be scared, smile. Do the opposite reaction. When you should be scared, if you know some narcissists are physically violent. Now, I ain't had that. Ain't nobody putting their hands on me. But when you when you should be scared, smile. Um, when you should get loud, get quiet. Do the opposite with them. That's indifference. Give don't give them no emotion. I don't care if they say your mama jumped off a building. Just be like, oh okay. You not gonna get upset? Nah, I didn't say I. You know I wasn't upset. I just said okay. You know, get that little blank stare going on, like nothing upstairs, you know, just kind of blank them out. They be like, what's wrong with her? And by, by the end of the thing, they're going to probably get mad and you're going to be the one that won. You just got to keep your composure. Um, wisdom is, um, is, is, is something that they run from. Wisdom is too high for a fool, which is too high for the narcissist. Uh, wisdom is too high. So when you're operating on a higher vibration of wisdom, um, they can't they can't fool with that. Um, narcissists get bored easy, so they'll switch you out. If you're not doing what they want you to do, they'll find somebody else. That's why it's cool to be indifferent. Be indifferent, cause if they can't get it from you, trust me, they're gonna find somebody else to give them their life supply. Their supply is emotional. I mean, emotions, they run off of your emotions and your thoughts and your feelings. And when you give it to them, they're going to take it and run with it. And you're going to be the one drained. Narcissist needs. Um, this is what I'm going to name. One, two, three. Three things that a narcissist needs from its victims. Number one, emotional response from his victim. He needs the narcissist, his or her, him or her, needs a response from his victim. Um, a narcissist needs to know that he is he or she is in control of the situation. And narcissist adrenaline rush to get Oh, Lord, I was writing so fast. I, I sometimes can't read my own notes. That's crazy. Um, oh, they need an adrenaline rush to get, um, to do the bipolar thing. Um, the, the, to do the bipolar thing at his or her. At his or her whim. Okay, Lord Jesus. Um, <laughs> this is crazy. I, I was writing real fast. Um, they need an adrenaline rush to do when they're doing the, the the bipolar thing. Um, on the whim, him him or her. Um, be um, and this is what I'm this is what I'm saying to you guys. Be boring. Be boring. I'm saying this to you. Listen, listen to me good. Be boring. And the narcissist will, um, when you do this, the narcissist is bored. When you're bored, just be a boring person. Be boring because the narcissist get bored, gets bored easy and quickly. This will help you to become interesting. 
I'm sorry, this will help you to become uninteresting to the narcissist. This will help you to become uninteresting. So be born. So be born is the indifferent look. Let me see if I can do the indifferent look. Hold on. Okay, so pretend like you said something. Um, you are very ugly. And I'm and let me show you, let me show you the look, what I envision as being indifferent from the look and the behavior. Hold on, watch this. And when you think they're done, or you can ask them, are you done? And they'll say, okay. Or you don't have to ask when you think they're done. You can say, wait a little while and then say, okay. Sorry, you feel that way. And then you can get up and go do something else. Or just, if you're going to still sit there, just be like, mm -mm. I, my advice is to get up and go do something. Get busy, leave. Don't sit there because they're going to continue to, they're going to they gonna keep trying to make it into a big thing. And if you feel like you're going to say something like me, I, I know how I am. So I have to, I probably need to get up and leave because this ain't going to end well. So, no, I'm not, you know, I don't want to give you my energy and I'm not going to argue with you because I made a promise to myself I'm not going to do that. So I'm finna get up and do it. I got to move on. I'm not finna do this with you because you got some that are very determined. I've witnessed that and I'm just as determined as you are to not give you my energy. Now that I really understand really 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 then now that's what it is um um if you have gone through you know if you have dealt with narcissism in your family or anything like that um i suggest that you go to a um a therapist that is qualified to help you unpack all of this stuff um, with the narcissist and going through this, you know, but, um, because this is heavy. It's a very intertwined web of deceit, manipulations, manipulations, um, lies and, and this kind of thing. It's, it's a, it's a web. And when, you know, like I said, with family, it's hard to get out of. Um, and it's very easy to get in. Um, if it was somebody you didn't know, you could quickly say something, tell them off, move along, and it's easy. But when it's family that you have to see on a regular basis or people that you have to deal with, you have to make a, a straight-up decision. Like, straight up, I got to cut you loose. Because I don't understand what this is. I'm not... I mean, I understand it. That's why I'm cutting you loose, but I can't. I'm not doing this no more. And if that's what you want to do, you some people thrive off of drama. Narcissists, they drive, they thrive off of drama. Because when you have drama, drama's all about you. And so, you know, if I can create drama, I can get attention. Hello. People get attention in different ways. Hello. You can get attention wearing a lot of makeup, dressing nice. You can get attention um, creating drama and making everything about why, oh, you. Because it's the victim thing, and they love to play the victim. Um, so, yeah, you need to go to a, a therapist that is qualified to help you unpack um, all of this stuff and, you know, going through the web of deceit and manipulations and lies with the narcissist is a qu equivalent to PTSD is post-traumatic stress disorder. I'm learning all of this and it's, they are so right. Um, so I'm, I'm working on, um, getting into therapy because I've cut loose, um, some stuff and people in my life. 
um, that are close to me, um, that are family. Um, and you just have to, this was about me doing for me. Um, I'm an empath and empaths always put people before, um, before themselves this is why mothers make great nurturers because most women put their men and their children and their family before themselves i vow to myself and to god and to people that i love i will never do that again because it's it's taking my life by storm um because i meant well and i feel like i've given 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 um and when you give and give and give and people are taking, 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 it, it's draining. It's draining, it's depressed, it's, 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 you know, depressive or whatever you want to call it, it's depressing. Um, but yeah, 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 it is. Um, so yeah, that, that was all I wanted to say about that. I, I think I really went overboard. It was pretty long because I had to break some stuff down and give you all examples. But this, if this is something that is affecting you, please, um, comment, um, below in the description box. Cause this is a heavy subject and I'm going to get deeper with it. Um, and I hope that it helps somebody. Because it's a real thing. NPD, narcissistic personality disorder. Narcissism is a demonic, dismantling, dysfunctional, um, disruptive thing. Um, I feel like in my life, I could have been farther along in my life. Um, but I know what I know now. I, I do not believe that it happened by accident. I feel like things in our life, pain happens. Pain isn't, pe people look at pain as bad, but pain is good because pain is educational. It's supposed to teach you not to make the same mistakes twice. Okay. And it's helped me to understand me better and to understand the people around me better. When I get ready to choose a mate or choose a man, and this is why I'm so glad that I vowed to not date until I do some work on myself. Because when you are coming out of something like narcissistic personalities and narcissist dealing with narcissists, it will destroy your life if you let it. But this lets me know how strong I am because I feel like I survived it. And the way I survived it is I got out. You got to get out. You, it's no, you can't stay in this and thrive and, 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 and live um, your best life and live to the fullest. You cannot do that. It is impossible. These people have no concept of others. Um, but I should have brought this video down. I normally do that. I don't forget. I used to, I was in my groove and I done messed it up, but I'm going to remind myself to break down the other videos. I'll do a part one and a part two, but I just want to say to you all, if you, if you, if this is your thing, if you really like it, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, don't forget to click that notification bell. Um, so you'll get a, a new, um, You'll get an upload of all the new videos. Um, you'll get the upload when I upload the new video. And give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Um, I love you, Trendsetter Gang. I hope this was educational. Um, and I do have some old videos where I was talking about different topics. And I talked about narcissistic mind games. So I'll probably do a part two of that. If you all don't mind, I'm going to bring in some old videos because I wanted to reconnect that channel, but I don't think YouTube would let me. So I'm going to um, put those videos on. I think I'm going to put the, you know, upload those videos onto this new one. So you're going to see me looking different. My hair is going to be different. I'm going to be looking a little bit younger than I was on those videos, but I just want to get those videos up because the narcissistic mind games was one that I really dealt with a lot and I want to help 
inform you about it and so we can move on with our lives and do good you know and do some good stuff you know so okay this video is 60 minutes oh and one second two seconds three seconds okay trend said again i love you love you love you tell me how you feel about this and um don't be afraid to talk about it um if it's anything that i can help you with any advice i will open up um i will open up like a line a chat line or a phone line but i, I want to talk more about it before i begin to open that up because i want to know if it's something that you all love and you know need to hear and want to hear more of um so i love you trendset again and see you on the next video mm -hmm. bye